This video demo will show you how to do billing for clients who either do not have insurance or who may be private pay or cash pay clients. To do so, you just want to make sure that in the demographic field that you have them identified in the insurance information tab as a self-pay client. Once you create a note, whatever rate that you have set for that particular code will populate into the note and it will also populate for that client here in the billing productivity report, which is in the upper left hand corner. On the left hand side, you'll see a list of criteria that you can select, such as the date range, the patients or clients, the sites and the providers. On the right hand side, it's just a summary of the different options that you have selected. And then you'll want to make sure that under your e-billing insurance options that you have selected the self-pay and you can uncheck the rest. This will pull up a list of all of your self-pay clients whenever you click on the billing report expanded for that particular date range. In the upper right hand corner is a summary of the results of your report. Here we have four encounters and all four self-pay. Down below you can see the claim status is orange and it has identified this person as a self-pay patient or client. You'll be able to identify the person, their ID number, date of birth. You'll be able to see their diagnoses. And if they do have an insurance, you will be able to see that down below. Just note that it will not send this information to the insurance electronically because you have identified them as self-pay and that prevents it from being released to the payers. You can see the provider, the location, the date of service, the billing code, and down below is the total charge. Once you create the note for this client, again, it will pull that information in here into this billing productivity report. And it will also generate a charge into the patient account portion of our program. Depending on your preference, you can choose to print these HICFA forms or CMS 1500 forms if the person is a private pay or if they, or if you do not bill insurance on their behalf or as a courtesy for them and they have to bill it to their own insurance, this is a really good feature where you can print this form out and give it to them so that they can file it to their insurance. Or you can go out to the patient account and print out a statement for them. Here in Paula's patient account, I can see the charge for this date of service that is $200 and that is owed by the patient. Any person who is marked as self-pay within our program will automatically have the balance be owed by the patient. If the person is not paid and you just want to generate a receipt for them, you can click this print icon and then choose to either print it out as a super bill or as an invoice. If the person has paid the balance due, you, you can simply post that payment either through their calendar or you can post here onto the service itself by clicking the edit pencil. Add your patient payment, put in the amount due, how they paid, and then any additional details that you want to populate onto the screen. Click Done when done. You'll see the payment has been posted and then the total balance is zero. Then click Done again. Here on the account ledger you can see that the charge was 200, the amount paid was 200, and then if you'd like to print a receipt at that point you can do so by clicking the print key. And that is how you bill for clients who either don't have insurance or their cash pay or private pay. Thank you and have a great day.